Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. Welcome to the Doctors in the House, your health show. This is a program about wellness, mental health, and disease prevention. I'm Dr. Marenzi, your host. Thank you very much for tuning in to 99.1 FM, WUGN, St. Petersburg. And also, for those of you who are listening online at 99gemstheburg.com, we appreciate you. If you have any questions at all, you can call us at 727-637-2416. Tonight's topic is successful alternative healthcare in Haiti. So today we have an excellent show. A different show, but excellent show. We are going to talk about how homeopathic medicine has been successfully practiced in Haiti. And our guest here tonight is Dr. Joey Prosper. He specializes in internal medicine and with certification in homeopathic medicine. He's also the medical director for the group Homeopath Without Border in Haiti. So before we get to the meat of things, let's uh, briefly give a short summary of what homeopathic medicine is all about. What is homeopathy? Homeopathy is a system of alternative medicine created at the end of 18th century, more precisely in 1796, by the German physician Samuel Hahnemann. The practitioners of uh, homeopathic medicine, called homeopath, believe that a substance that causes symptoms of a disease in healthy people can cure similar symptoms in sick people. This is a doctrine that is called like cure like, and it's one of the fundamental t uh, principle. Uh, for homeopathic medicine, and there are others. Now, homeopathy was introduced in the United States in 1825, around that time, and kind of grew rather quickly. It was the first homeopathic school opening in 1835, somewhere in Pennsylvania. This new medicine in the United States achieved its greatest popularity in most of the 19th century. And throughout that period, dozens of homeopathic institutions appear, spread in Europe as well as in the United States. So what was the, the reason for that? Well, this was due to the fact that homeopathic treatment appear, especially public opinion, to be safe and relatively effective compared to the other form of treatment practice at that time, especially by orthodox medicine, which had a reputation, whose treatment has a reputation to be harmful and ineffective. However, quickly, with the foundation of the uh, American Medical Association in 1847, come with a series of policies very hostile to the homeopathic movement from the outset. And by the end of that century, 19th century, homeopathic practices become under attack and begin to decline. So within a short period of time, homeopathy in the United States has been in steep decline from the 1920s to the 1960s, but had made a comeback beginning 1970s. So currently, homeopathic medicine is widespread in Europe, countries like Germany, Belgium, Switzerland, Great Britain, name those few, but it's even more popular in Asia, especially India, Pakistan, and throughout the world, complementary medicine and predominantly homeopathy is increasingly being considered a powerful ally to conventional medicine. Homeopathy exists in almost every country in the world, major country in the world, China, Mexico, Brazil, South Africa. And the demand for services is on the rise. For instance, in uh, Northern Europe, countries like Sweden, Norway, Finland, 
state whose health system are recognized throughout the world for the quality and excellence. Homeopathy is now considered a branch of medicine and is made to be an integral, integral part of the healthcare system. Now, in the United States, the laws regulating the practice of homeopathy varies from state to state. Usually, individual or licensed to practice medicine or any other field in the healthcare profession can legally practice homeopathy. Now, few states have homeopathic licensing board for doctors of medicine, whether it's MD or DO, to practice legally. Some state a section of the naturopathic, naturopathic uh, medical board examination consists has homeopathy. Other state non-licensed professional may practice homeopathy. So our question we're going to address tonight, when did homeopathy arrive in Haiti? And how well is it doing there? So we're going to turn our attention for this show to the situation in Haiti. And this is where my guest, Dr. Joey Prosper, comes in. Dr. Joey, may I call you that? Of course. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Doctors in the House and thank you for making this special trip. Well, um, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. And, um, you know, just the fact that um, you're doing things like this, putting um, uh, homeopathy in um, a wide street so that people know more about it, that itself uh, means a lot. Well, that's going to be your job, my friend. <laughs> Listen, you made that trip for many reasons. You want to help us bring awareness to this field of medicine mm -hmm. in the Tampa Bay area, as well as hopefully we can raise some money for all those clinics you guys are really doing in Haiti. Thank you. So really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, did I say you are the lead physician, medical director of the Homeopath Without Borders in uh, Haiti? Uh, I'm the lead physician for the, for the group. Okay. Uh, All trained by um, homeopath without borders. Okay. As far as the training in homeopathy. Correct. So, but as far as what I say about you, is there anything you want to add? I specialize in internal medicine and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, internal medicine. I did a, a, a self specialty with a um, global brain round in um, intensive care unit. Okay. Yeah, that was um, about three years ago. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, as a Haitian of origin, I'm grateful your service in Haiti and to bring homeopathy to the people of Haiti. And I'm very grateful that um, you and those in your surrounding is um, are supporting us and also inviting us so that we can give awareness in homeopathy. And I think uh, everyone who practices medicine, and well, just about everyone should know about homeopathy and all the benefits that comes with it. You would, you would hope so. <laughs> and actually, that's our job, okay? We're going to do our best we can to spread the word. So. When did homeopathy uh, got to Haiti, come to Haiti? Uh, principally, I'm saying uh, there might have been other groups who, have, who came to Haiti, but uh, to, to do the work that, um, that uh, we are doing, it started, it was post-2010 after the earthquake. Okay. Yeah, the group came in Haiti. They came as a, a group to support um, the people that were victims of the earthquake, uh, both physically and mentally. So, you know, I give my audience a brief story of homeopathy. This is basically history, not the principle, not the clinical aspect of, uh, of homeopathic medicine. So, in your clinical opinion and impression and practice, what is homeopathic medicine? Okay. I'm going to put it in a way that might be easier for you to understand. Okay. okay. Dr. Morancy, let's say that you are sick. Let's say that you are sick with malaria, for example. Mm -hmm. You have malaria, you would be treated. As an allopathic physician, you know, the first thing I would think about my treatment, when I treat you with chloroquine, when I treat you with oxycycline, mm -hmm. you know, uh, whatever is needed to treat um, uh, malaria. Mm -hmm. But with um, homeopathy, I'm not going to treat malaria, I'm going to treat Dr. Morancy. I'm going to treat that person in a holistic approach. I'm going to treat that person who likes drinking cold beer, that person who has a 
a great character who likes smiling all the time, that person uh, who's, who likes sleeping on his right side on the bed when he sleeps. So basically, that's the big difference. When we are treating, we don't treat the illness, but we treat the person. So you don't approach it, well, you're an attendant, so you know the training. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So we have different region exactly. or organ in the body exactly. we address, but sometimes we forgot the whole person is there. That's right. So you mean to tell me you guys consider every aspect? Every aspect of the person. And that's why when treating a person in a homeopathic um, um, context, uh, it's almost an interview that you do with the person where you need to know as much as possible about the person. Okay. Because it's, it's the person. It's going to be, be with the person that you are treating. So the principle I quoted uh, in my introductions, uh, like you, like... Yes. The, uh, what is that really, per se, as far as the fundamental uh, aspect of it? Let me give you another example. It's the similarity uh, okay. of things. Let's say, for example, uh, we have a person who suffers from uh, insomnia, but he cannot sleep. One of the medicines that are very effective in, in, in homeopathy that, that helps cure that is made out of coffee. It's coffee. Okay. You know, and again, it's the same principle similarity. Just as, for example, you have a, 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 a homeopathic medicine that, treat, that treats of a rash, mm -hmm. and it's made out, out of poison ivy. Wow. You know, so it, it is almost the same principle as that of an antidote. So the yeah. substance really that the substance cause the symptoms of the particular of the malaria or whatever the disease is, and a healthy person, uh -huh. you can use that same treatment to yes. seek to treat the to treat the person, the, the person. With, with that same similarity. That's totally different. Yeah, totally different. If I yes. Um, let's go quickly. Let's go over the clinic simply. So, what have you guys been doing in Haiti in terms of organizing the clinic and your practice? How many patients you see, and tell us what 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 is it makes that makes the uh, homeopathic. Uh, well, we have a, a group of organized um, uh, uh, clinicians who are homeopaths, okay. and um, who, who a lot of them are also uh, allopathic physicians, uh, but they understand clearly home, um, homeopathic medicine and uh, the consequence and benefits of it. So, uh, what we do is um, we do. Um, Although we have a stable clinic where people will come to us and be treated, but we also uh, provide care um, to the relative areas where we do mobile clinics. Okay. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, whenever there's a natural disaster in okay. an area, mm -hmm. um, you know, so we try to go to that area and uh, provide assistance to these people, being that these people did just suffer a, uh, a, a natural disaster. They have very uh, little resources and um, to, to be seen by physicians or to buy medicine. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the treatment and the care for homeopathic medicine is a, is a, is, is a lot cheaper. Okay. Uh, for instance, if I were to do a mobile clinic, an allopathic mobile clinic, I would have to bring tons of medicine, a lot of medicines, to see 100 patients mm -hmm. myself. Whereas I have a kit. The kit is a, is a small box that has all the uh, remedies, um, Remedies, and I could treat with my kit. I could treat well over uh, uh, three, five hundred people with it. Yeah. So it is. It is a very practical um, um, way to practice medicine, and the consequence is also another benefit. Great benefit that he has. That was one of the first things that, that caught my attention when I was first interest uh, interested in um, homeopathic medicine. There's no side effect. Well. That's a great point, and that's really going to yeah. lead to my next question, right. because you train in internal medicine, I train in internal medicine, in traditional medicine, and mm -hmm. one of the things we really use a lot yes. is medications. Yes. I mean, we have a lot of chronic disease. Everybody has five, six, seven pills uh, they take, and they take it forever because yeah. it's chronic. We yeah. don't have any fix, per se, for some of those chronic disease unless you really address really the fundamental root causes of this. Yes. So, how imp well, you mentioned your medication has side effect, have very little side effect, I think, yes. it's safe. Yes. So, how, what's the medication? What is it? Is it herbs? What, what is it? Uh, what, what's, 
how do you utilize this medication? Well, all, 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 all the medications are, are, are from uh, are the, uh, natural compounds. You know? Correct, correct. And, and um, they are synthesized in a way uh, that it, it keeps all these uh, natural components. Well, let's get yeah. that out of the way. Yeah. So homeopathic is not herbal medicine. It's not, it's not naturopathic medicine, if you want to put it this okay. way. Okay, okay. Yeah. It, it's not naturopathic medicine. Right. And um, so, and again, it's the it, what it does also, it really boosts, it really implicates in your immune system, you know. And, and again, I, I would say it's the approach is holistic, and it, it, it helps treat the person in a whole. Yeah, I've kind of... Yeah. And, you know, one of the things, and, and, and Dr. Ramsey, I think you know that as well, and that's something that really uh, bothers us a lot as physicians. You know, the medicines that we're giving that are affecting the person's liver, the person's kidney, and so forth throughout time and, and damaging it. And, and again, another thing that um, I've learned to do, I still practice... Um, 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 well, I'm traditional medicine. medicine. Yeah, yeah, conventional med medicine. I still practice it. But practicing homeopathic medicine is such a great implementation for my practice, whereas <clears throat> I have so many patients who have certain diseases, some some chronic infection and so forth, mm -hmm. you know, who've been treating, who've been who have been treated for uh, Pelagio, with Cipro, with so many antibiotics that actually antibiotics. destroy their immune yes. system and yes. kill their gut bacteria. Yes, all the side effects. Yeah. Yes, and, and for example, I wouldn't dare to prescribe Cipro to a three, four year old, right? Uh, because of the uh, effect that it has in the, in the maturity of the bone, right? Whereas with homeopathic medicine, I don't have to be afraid of that. So how quickly do you usually see the result, though? You say you do the proper evaluation, which I understand sometimes for new patients a long, yeah. a long time. It depends on the chronicity of the case. Um, okay. It depends on the patient. But sometimes it could be incredibly quick. It could be incredibly quick. I've witnessed, uh, um, for example, we're doing a course for uh, midwives at a, at a, a maternity hospital, and um, we had a, a woman that came in with a lot of pain and with hemorrhaging, and um, that person was put in one of our remedy, and it was, it was almost as a miracle, uh, how fast it reacted. So it really varies in the case. Okay. Now, given the, you know, the social political situation in Haiti, where do you practice, where that, your clinic go everywhere in Haiti or wherever they list it? Well, we go wherever we're called out on. Okay, uh, so you, you, you have the manifold? Yes. For, for the service? Okay. Yes, we, we do. We have, a, uh, we, have a quite, we have a good amount of uh, uh, homeopathic professionals who will come to us to uh, different places that we go to. And we usually have, um, uh, we can say that we have um, of, uh, some in each department of the country. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So we're gonna time is flying. We're gonna take a short break, okay, and we'll be back very very shortly.